Hello and welcome back to a Double Stitch Creations tutorial. To, um, we're still working on Eddie, the uh, baby orangutan. So I've chosen to break up um, these tutorials into small parts. In the first tutorial, first two tutorials, this is tutorial number three. We made his eyes and his ears, and today we're going to be working on his left hand and his left. Well, it'd be this side, wouldn't it? Opposite <laughs> left hand and his left foot, they're the same, they're exactly the same. I haven't made these feet bigger than his hands, um, I didn't think he needed to. So they're exactly the same. So you need to make two left hands or feet and two right hands or feet. So today we're going to do the left and then we'll do the right and continue building, building our baby orangutan. Okay, what we need today is we need the beige yarn. We need a 4.5 millimeter hook, a tapestry needle, and a pair of scissors. Okay, once again, um, I'm doubling the yarn. It's eight ply wool that I'm using. You could use cotton, but I'm using two strands. And I'm going to make a slip knot. I'll leave a little bit of a tail for weaving later. I wrap it around my finger twice. I pull the back loop over the front loop, grab the tail and I wrap it in front of the loop that's still on my finger and I grab the back loop and pull it over the front loop. And now I've got this slip knot that I can put on my crochet hook. So if you're familiar with crochet you can do a magic circle but um, for those beginning it's easier to do start your crochet work like this. So now that we have a slip knot we're going to chain two so yarning over hooking that working in and pulling it back through loop and a hook, that's one and that's two and just like the other tutorials we have to we're going to do half double crochets this time we're going to put ten half double crochets into the second chain from the hook so here's our hook this is the first chain and this is the second if we just follow through and pull out that loop that bottom loop of the chain so you know where you're working you can tighten it later. So to turn, we turn to put our, so we're not doing single crochet, we're doing half doubles. So to do that, you yarn over first. So there's two loops on your hook. We're going into that chain space, yarning over and pulling it back through that chain space so that you have three loops on your hook and yarn over and pull through all three. So that's one half double. Yarn over first, two loops on your hook, going into that chain space, yarning over, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. Yarn over first, going into that chain space, yarning over, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. So that's three, four, you wanna put 10 into the same spot. Five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so that completes the palm of our foot, hand, whatever it's going to be. Okay, so what we want to do is if you notice that every stitch has a front loop and a back loop, for this to make the hand we're only going to be using the front loop, so we're only going to put our hook under the front loop of each stitch. This will allow us to um, attach the orangutan colour yarn for his arms or his legs later on. So we want to just work into the front loop. So going into the front loop for the first stitch. We're going to do a slip stitch. So go into the front loop. So it's just a picking up the front loop only of the first stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops in your hook. And you're going to pull the Back, front loop through the back loop. 
So that's one slip stitch. Now we're going to do a slip stitch into the next two stitches and I'm still using the front loop only. So doing another slip stitch and then another slip stitch into the front loop only. And now we're going to work on his thumb. So we're going to chain two, or three, sorry, so one, two, three. Now I, okay, I have a tutorial about crocheting into the chain. The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to crochet into the back ridge for all the fingers and the thumb because it just gives it a really nice nice look and I think it makes it look more like fingers. So the back ridge, if you take a look at your chain, and I will link the, in the tutorial in the description below if you want more details. But So this is our chain. You've got, this is your top loop and your bottom loop, but if you just were to turn that chain slightly to the side, you'd see what is known as a back ridge, these little bumps here and if you crochet into them you get a nice edge which make is going to make our fingers so I you can crochet into the chain any way you want but I am going to crochet into the back ridge for all the fingers so what we're going to do is do a half double crochet into the back ridge of the chain from so the second chain from the hook so here's our hook this is our first chain we can't go into that because it's just going to undo going into the back ridge so I'm going into this and turning it that's our first chain this is our second I'm going into this loop here and I'm going to put a half double crochet into there so yarn over picking up that back ridge of the chain then yarn over again Pulling it back through so you've got three loops in your hook because we're doing a half double. This is just for the thumb. And then pulling it all through, through all three. Now we're going to do a slip stitch into the back ridge of the next stitch, chain stitch along. So going into the back ridge, yarning over. So now you've got two loops in your hook. I'm going to simply, simply pull the front loop through the back, uh, back loop, and that's a slip stitch. Now where the thumb started. I'm going to do a slip stitch, then moving around our palm to the next stitch along, I'm going to work into the front loop, I'm going to do another slip stitch, and then the next stitch along into the front loop only, I'm going to do another slip stitch, and now we're going to work on his pointer finger. And here we are going to chain four. So yarn over, pulling that yarn back through the loop on a hook. That's one, two, three, four. And once again, working to the second chain from the hook and into the back ridge of the chain. So it's easier, it's, it's easier if you just hold your chain flat and then give it a slight turn and you'll be able to see the bumps on the back. And it's literally what you're going to crochet into and we're going to do slip stitches into every stitch along the chain so going into this second chain from the hook into the back ridge yarning over pulling up a loop and I'm simply going to pull the front loop through the back loop so that's one going to the next chain working to the back ridge doing another slip stitch going into the last chain Again, working to the back ridge and doing another slip stitch. And now we're going to do a slip stitch where into the same spot where we started the pointer finger. So into the same stitch. And I'm going to do another slip stitch. And now from here, we're going to work on the index finger. So we're going to chain five. So yarn over, pulling it back through the loop and a hook. That's one, two, three, four, five. We're going to slip stitch all the way back down the long chain starting at the second chain from the hook and once again into the back ridge of the chain. So that's one slip stitch. 
So you should end up with four, two, three, and four. And now we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch along, right along the palm. So again, I'm going into the front loop only. So doing a slip stitch. Now we're working on the ring finger. And we're going to chain four. So yarn over, pulling that yarn back through the loop and hook. That's one two, three, and four. And then once again, into the second chain from the hook, I'm just gonna slip stitch along the chain back down. And then you should have three stitches. They're all slip, slip stitches. And again, I'm working into the back loop, the back ridge of this chain. Now we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch along the palm of the hand. So I'm not going to the same place where we started the ring finger, I'm going to the next stitch into the front loop and I'm doing a slip stitch. And now we're going to chain three. Yarn over, pulling that yarn back through the loop and hook. That's one, two, three and then we're just going to slip stitch into the back ridge and the second chain from the hook that's one and going to the next chain down that's two and we're slip stitching into this the same place that we started that baby finger or the little finger And then again, continuing into the front loop only, we're going to slip stitch into the next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. Now you can cut your yarn. Then yarn over and pull it all the way through. And there we have one little hand ready to go. We're just going to weave in the end. Now you can see it. And then just weave in this other one. Okay, and trim it. And this is one of our left, this is our left hand or foot. So go ahead and make another left one. And then I will see you at the end. That's his two left, well, one will be his hand, one will be his foot. So his two left feet and, and hands. And now um, in the next tutorial, we'll do the right. And we'll just keep keep on going. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.